Hey everyone, welcome to Wasabi Galaxy, a show where we chat about Japan culture, Japan games, and anything Japan. In this episode, I wanted to show you something I got in the mail from a good friend of mine in Japan that I'm super excited about. Um, I'm a huge fan of、uh, Katsuhiro Otomo, the creator of Akira, and recently I saw the movie、uh, Short Piece by him.、Uh, I have the Blu ray actually. Short piece, this movie here.、Uh, he basically wrote a bunch of、uh, short films that he got a bunch of other directors to to make, but he also made、uh, his own.、Um, he got a lot of famous directors like the creator of Evangelion,、um, he did、uh, Gambo,、uh, which is an incredible piece in itself that deserves. To get credited a lot more than what it did. And then he did his own Call for All to Weapons. So it was like a 15 minute short, short、uh, movie he did. And it looked incredible. And、uh, it really reminded me a lot of the stuff he did for Akira, where he's bringing a lot of the technology and like the wastelands. And, you know, I'm a huge Otomo fan. I have, you know, every、uh, version of. Akira on Blu ray, DVD, VHS, a bunch of his works, other books he did,、um, and a lot of his like、uh, art books.、Uh, so I'm a huge hardcore fan. So a friend of mine knew that I'm a hardcore fan and sent over this bad boy here. So it's the works of Otomo of the short piece movie of,、uh, it's called again, Farewell to, Farewell to Weapons. And inside in, in here has tons of beautiful things about the, the stuff he did for this movie. So, like concept art,、uh, character designs. He has even like models he,、uh, that basically someone built for the movie,、um, storyboards. He, and he did even like a little comic, basically putting the idea down of what he wanted to do for this story. And actually, the comic is a little bit different than what、uh, came out in, on the film, which is normal. But, you know, it was an incredible book to, to have. And also came with this gorgeous poster of basically the cover. It is an incredible book. I'm going to give you a closer look of, of this book and share this incredible thing with you guys. All right, so I'm going to open this baby up so you guys can check out some of the stuff that's in, in here. As you can see, the comic he did, I really love how it's just like two colors, three colors. You have your white, your red, and your blue. Really simple but beautiful. Then he goes into this beautiful, you know, watercolor paint job he does with his、uh, covers.、Uh, it's just, it's just incredible, just beautiful. Some of the stuff he does, and here's like some more black and white stuff. But you can tell, like, how big look, look at my hand, like, how big this thing is. This is incredible. Um, so more of that.、Uh, here's like the revisions he did to、uh, a lot of the stuff, um, as like a first pass. And usually, how manga works is it's not just the Tomo doing the job, it's you know. Uh, four or five people. He basically comes out with the layout and draws、um, all the characters. There's usually someone doing the backgrounds. And so here he's just like fixing a few things that he, he thought and also figuring out、um, you know, layouts and also order of things, like as you can see、uh, over here. Where is it? I just saw it.、Um, he wants to move things around and, you know. These, this is just incredible. Here are like the models he built of the, the different things he designed, all the different mechs he designed in this. Just incredible. I, I, I'm blown away by this. Like, even has like the characters here and all the little modules stuff. And this is like the actual the thing that's shooting at people、uh, throughout the, the film. And here's like schematics for it. So, if you actually want to build your own, You actually have the schematics here and you can actually build it.、Uh, so, here's some of like,、uh, the concept work for you know, the, the suit over here. Then, I really love this piece here. It's just like the suit open 
where you can actually see all the guts and stuff and like how everything works. That's something I love of his work. It's just like how he can figure out how everything works in like real space. Uh, here is like a little dialogue piece. And here's another version of that robot. Just so cool. I like, I, I can't believe that he got, um, you know, these things built. But in movies, it, it's quite common as like having like a, a physical object for 3D animators because I believe it was done in 3D. So like that they can actually hold it and move it around and see like every little nook and cranny they need to make. And here's like all the character designs and all the colors uh, that they, they use for it. Uh, different versions of the main character. Here are the color palettes, uh, how uh, the characters act. Just just an incredible book. Like the, this thing is rich, full of like, look at all these details that he just knows how to put in and it just blows me away. Like how the, um, the character actually sits in within the, the suit. Um, little things like the drone they throw out throughout. You guys really need to watch that. Uh, that short piece of his, at least. Um, here's some of the uh, the concept work of like the storyboards. Here are all the vehicles. Like this thing is just full of incredible reference. If you're an uh, animator, if you're a comic book artist, or if you're just like into concept art, this is full of incredible things. Like these are just beautiful. All the backgrounds that they did for for the film, and here's like some of the concept pieces some of the UI work in the actual uh, movie. Like, you don't see this stuff anywhere. Uh, to me, this is, you know, quality. Things that don't come up, like, in North America. It, it's just really sad, but, you know, in Japan, you get all these things. You get music CDs, you get behind the scene DVDs. Like, it, it is incredible. Here's some, the, the storyboards. So you get a lot of storyboards. That's pretty much what you get in this package. Um, I think it is one of the best Atoma books you can get. Uh, there's a really nice uh, Akira one that's really nice, but I think this one takes the cake for me in terms of like quality work of Otomos. Uh, a good insight of not just comic book stuff, but he has concept art, he has model kits, he has uh, storyboards, animation cells everything that was involved in that film is in this book and i am super happy to have this book i am super lucky to have a friend who knows my obsession with tomo is is giant and is able to point me out and say hey do you want this because i think you you enjoy this and of course i i had to to get this one so guys that was a look at Otomo's book here from Short Piece. As you can see, it is an incredible book, and you can see why I was so excited about this incredible book. Um, if you're an Akira fan, definitely try to pick it up if you see it anywhere. I believe it's on uh, Amazon Japan, so you might be able to ship that uh, to yourself. Uh, I want to thank Phil, the guy who sent it over to me, a good friend of mine who I see almost every year, every time I go to Japan. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. It really means a lot to me. Let me know what you think about Otomo's work and what you think about the short piece. Did you like the, the film or do you want another beautiful Akira film by Otomo? Um, so make sure you hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. It really motivates me to create more videos for you guys of this nature. And I hope I see you next time.